Ka President Kari India Ka Dropadi Marmu Habakren Haka Jialang Pili Prada Yaka Lumpungi Lakai Megalia Game Satura Haka Permit Katsantari Kula Lungkot Araja Arpsao Kalakken Ma Wurom Yu Speaker Barim Kalok Sabahau Lid Perno Ajitok Sangma Kumuriu Lom Baningkong Banbat Yakati Kam Nakatan Chetay Lamingi Kamarmu Kadai Ka President Baningkong Kari India Nakijai Bandri Ruyu Lom Bat Kabakmi Lenti Baka Nika Lumpung Megalia Game Skindon Ru Kiriu Lom Kibakiyo Shakmat Haka Jialia Kai Bapir Bapir Hakani ke jelang pelih lay don lang dau lat ke jelak megalia upa gu cuan umin terang ba ke jelak megalia konrat ke sangma ke MP Lok Sabha Natura ke anggota ke sangma uba syaklar wajri menteri ke transport nalor ke wipan. Hakani ke jenmit ke rang bat hei lek kai na ke distrik bapir bapir ke jelak ke layak pelun ya ke madan PE sangma studium ban pen i ya ke dak ke jengai kubli ya ke presiden nalor ke wipat ke program. Nearly 3,000 athletes are taking part in this Meghalaya Games. Look at the confidence radiating from their formation. This is not just about athleticism. It is a statement of unity. Here your official song, official song of the fifth Meghalaya Games. Twelve districts, twelve contingents are going to take part in 23 disciplines. Their enthusiasm is infectious, and you can feel the energy in there as they proudly step into the arena. a spectacular sight. Athletes are waving. The proud athletes of the fifth Meghalaya Games. You can see the mascot, Labasha. Inspired from the state of Meghalaya. And I pay my homage to Lord Sri P. A. Sangama, former Chief Minister of Meghalaya and former Speaker of Lok Sabha. Sri Sangama was the first tribal speaker of Lok Sabha and also the first speaker from Northeast. Sri Sangama was loved by politicians cutting across party lines. He was a visionary who worked tirelessly to address Northeast region's unique challenges. Ladies and gentlemen, Northeast India traditionally has a strong sports culture. The region has a tremendous potential for development of sports and sports persons. Further, the region has a large tribal population who are good at many sports, archery being one of them. Diversity is the beauty of our nation, and we should utilize it to further boost India's global image in sports arena. There is an urgent need to support the talent from the tribal areas and groom them to become professional sports persons. I am happy to note that the Society of Northeast encourages women to play 
and join sports as a profession. Northeast region has produced many great women athletes. I would also like to underline the potential of adventure sports and adventure tourism in this region and the need to explore and leverage it on priority. The region has produced some great sportsperson who have contributed to India's tally in prestigious international tournaments like Olympics and Commonwealth Games. Last week, I gave Arjuno Award to hockey player Ukram Bom Sunila Chanu and Yusu player Naurem Rosivina Devi in a ceremony held in Rashtrapati Bhavan. I congratulate both of them for making the country proud. I am confident that events like Meghalaya Games will encourage athletes for excellence, promote competitiveness, and create a vibrant sporting ecosystem. The National Sports University pr provides courses on sports science, sports technology, sports management, and sports coaching. I am sure it will create a rich sports ecosystem in the region. Ladies and gentlemen, I am told that about 3,000 athletes are participating in these games. I appreciate the state government and the organizers for hosting this event. The decision of the government to hold these games in different parts of the state is a welcome step and would ensure wider reach of such events among masses. The development of sports in inspectors in the state will also get a boost when these events are held at different venues. I commend the state government and local administration for using this opportunity to engage the local residents in beautification programs, cleanliness, and plantation drives. I am confident that such John Bhagidari programs and multicultural events will go a long way in building social harmony and creating trust among various communities of the state. India's sporting culture has developed immensely in recent years. With government's new initiatives and encouragement to the athletes, Indian sportspersons are now winning more medals than ever in global events. Indian contingent delivered spectacular performances in recently held World University Games and Asian Games. Programs such as Hello India are helping in identifying and nurturing future sports champions. Our athletes are so determined and committed that they are making a mark in para games too. Our men and women sportspersons are keeping the India's flag flying high. Ladies and gentlemen, India has also demonstrated its ability to host large-scale international sporting and other events. India has organized the Chess Olympiad, Under-17 Football Women's World Cup, the Men's Hockey World Cup, Boxing Championship, and most recently, the Cricket World Cup. This year is March. In March, for the first time, India will host the World Shooting Para Sports event. The organization of various states level games and other cultural and trade events will contribute in building robust sports in infrastructure and creating a strong sports legacy in the country. I would like to ask the children and youth of the country to learn at least one sports and participate in sports activities. You may or may not adopt sports as a career, but playing together will calculate, inculcate team spirit and competitiveness in your personality and apart from keeping you physically and mentally fit. 
In the end, I extend my best wishes to all the participants and wish this event a great success. Thank you. Jai Hind. Jai Bharat.